So here I am at the Future of Flight Museum in Snohomish County, but today I've got such incredible things on the agenda for you. I'm going to sit down with Tom Kogan, who is the chief engineer on the 787 Dreamliner. You've probably been hearing about it. It's one of the most technologically advanced commercial airlines on the planet. So here's Tom in his own words. Probably the feature that um, it's most known for is fuel efficiency. Uh, this airplane is designed to be 20% uh, more fuel efficient than airplanes flying in today's marketplace. What the reduced fuel burden allows you to do is to fly the airplane further. It's like your car, you know, if you get good gas mileage on a tank of gas, you can go further. Uh, on the 787, because it's fuel efficient, we can fly it further than we've ever been able to do for this size airplane. And uh, the benefit to the passenger there is you don't have to, if you're flying a long distance, you can fly point to point. You don't have to stop at intermediate airports, maybe change airplanes, go to places that you really don't want to visit. <laughs> you can fly from where you are to where you want to go as quickly and as efficiently as possible. And again, it's never been possible in the industry before to have an airplane of this size, 200 to 250 passengers, uh, have the ability to fly those longer ranges. Uh, Boeing has been putting composite on airplanes for over 30 years, and uh, the reason we're using more composite on the 787 than we've used in the past is because we figured out how to manufacture in a way that makes it more cost effective. Composite is where you combine any two materials in a way that provides benefit uh, in how they're combined. An example that people would uh, understand quite easily is fiberglass. People have fiberglass boats. It's made up of a fabric and a resin material. And the uh, graphite uh, uh, composite that we're using on the 787 is very similar. It uses a graphite uh, material and then a resin system, which uh, in combination makes for a very strong, very lightweight material. So strong material, lightweight, allows you to build very efficient structure. There's a lot of computers on board the airplane, and all of them obviously are controlled with software. Uh, so extensive software, it's specific software that's written for, uh, for the aircraft, and it has to be very, very high integrity. You can't afford uh, on an airplane where you have computers controlling the flight control systems, for example, to have uh, any kind of uh, deficiency. So it all has to be very robust, uh, very well checked out, and, and is certified to a very, uh, very, very high degree of, uh, of accuracy. One of the things that we learned in our research that people like about flying is flying. Yeah. The fact that they're, they're up in the air and they're flying. And having bigger windows allows people to connect with the outside and, and get more of that, uh, that feeling of flying. No matter where you sit in the airplane, you'll be able to look over the seat tops and be able to see out and see the horizon, and so you'll have that connection with, with flight. Very dramatic, uh, the, the size, the increase in size of the windows. And again, uh, it was affordable for us from a weight standpoint because of composites. We were able to go to larger windows and not have to pay a large weight penalty to be able to achieve that. of the actual 787. What are we standing on right here? What kind of material? Is this the composite you're talking about? This is the composite material, and the way this is built is the long stringers that run fore and aft in the airplane are laid in a mandrel, and we wrap the carbon fiber material around it, and then that is all put into an autoclave where it's cured under pressure and temperature. And when it comes out, it's a single piece. And then these circular members going circumferentially around the airplane are frames, and those are mechanically fastened then to, again, give it structural integrity. It, how, really, how, give people an idea of how strong this stuff is. Well, it's is. very strong material. Uh, this piece of material uh, on, the, on the edge here is about a half a square inch, okay. and you could support about 15 cars of a sedan like you would drive from right. this material. That's what the tensile strength of it is. Very, very, very strong, very lightweight material, which is why it's good for aerospace application. Now, you guys have a little bit of interior stuff going on. Do you mind showing me a couple of the seats and uh, some of the big windows that I'm really excited sure, about? Sure, be happy to. Okay. All right, so now we're actually inside the an interior mock-up for 787, and Tom, let's talk about the seats, because I'm seeing something different here than you normally see on a regular traditional airline. Is this concept, or is this a possibility? These are concept seats, and what we're doing here is trying to make the seats that match the 
architecture of the interior so that it's a very uh, homogeneous type interior. The lighting is very relaxing in here. It doesn't feel like that fluorescent above your head feel. Talk about the lighting. Well, you can bring the light intensity up so that you've got the light intensity you need for serving meals, for cleaning the cabin, for passengers being able to, to read. But you can also bring the light intensity way down and the LED lights, uh, light emitting diodes, allow us to not only change the intensity of the lighting, but change the hues and the color so that you can actually change the mood in the cabin. These are the new windows. These are the new windows <laughs> and uh, these windows don't have shades on them like a traditional uh, airliner window. The uh, windows are darkened and lightened very much like an LCD. Uh, works so we can darken the windows and, and lighten the windows and the flight attendants can control that from the master panel so that they can effectively shut all the windows in the cabin when it's time for the passengers to sleep or watch movies but the passengers also have some control over that so if it's dark in the cabin and you want to look out the window to see where you are you can actually lighten it just a little bit so that you can see out but it doesn't disturb the rest of the passengers. Here I am with Sandy Ward who's the marketing director here at the Future of Flight. Now Sandy, talk about wireless. I'm looking at some really cool behind the scenes stuff. How are these planes going to be set up as far as uh, entertainment goes? Well it's going to be in-flight entertainment system uh, with a twist which means they're going to be wireless. Uh, as you know uh, the 787 airplane is, is a very light airplane and cables that normally hook uh, in-flight entertainment systems together with their servers uh, add a lot of weight to an airplane. And so if you want to be lightweight and you got 300 seats on an airplane, you got to go wireless. Got to go wireless. So, and how does that affect me as uh, somebody who just flies a lot? Well, uh, you will be able to do all kinds of things wirelessly, including check your email, shop online, uh, watch a movie. Each individual seat can order its own movie or its own uh, shopping individually and it's not affected and the seats are not connected together by cables. This is new technology and it's going to just be absolutely fabulous. Will every seat have a little screen? Yes it will. Yes. Well, we had to have a way to use technology to be able to design this airplane uh, all around the world and have it integrated. And so we have this room as kind of the mothership. It's the main room where our design team can connect with their colleagues around the world real time to look at the airplane. We can bring the airplane up electronically because it's all designed by computers. We can bring the airplane up. We can look at all the aspects of it and we can do the design real time. So we have cameras, we have television screens, uh, we can have multiple locations uh, all online at the same time. We can all look at the data together, we can make decisions together, and we can have this global collaboration. To get to work with some of the most talented, most creative people around the world on a product like this, an airplane, uh, and the magic that, that comes with flight, uh, it really is, it's, it's just a great job. Uh, I think I have the best job in the world.